Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new life cycle hooks that has been introduced by the Angular framework team that is after render and after next render. So you may be able to uh, worry that what is this after render and after next render. So we'll try to learn about these two things right now. So now uh, I told you right, sometimes it is necessary now to use the browser only APIs to manually read or write the DOM. So for example, when you are using a chart library, uh, when you are using some resize, uh, when you want to know that when the content has been resized or when the browser is resized. So like this, when the things are happening in the browser level, browser only APIs, when it is doing, then you need to implement some manual, uh, uh, some read and write of the DOM. So you need to get the DOM or you need to update the DOM like this. So this can be challenging to do with the lifecycle events. Why? Because so these lifecycle events or lifecycle hooks which we are trying to learn these after content in it and all those things. So will run, okay, it will run during server side rendering and also in the pre-rendering. So these two, these two lifecycle hooks will be run. So for this purpose, Angular has provided a new lifecycle hooks that is nothing but after render and after next render. So these functions can be used unconditionally, but will have no effect on the browser. So these, these two lifecycle hooks will not, will not run on the server side render. It will run when after the uh, rendering has been completed in the browser. So these both functions accepts a callback that will run after the next change detection cycle. So that, so that means that we have now have two methods that will only run in the browser making our updates to the DOM safe even when SSR or pre-rendering. So that is the main thing. So first one is the after next render. So that is one thing which we need to learn. After next render performs one time initialization or observe a single specific change to the DOM. So for this scenario what I will try to do is I will create a new component after render. So by creating this component, we will try to see how this after render and after next render will fire. In the meantime, we will learn about this after next render. After next render means this will run only one time at the initialization time observes a single specific change to the DOM. This event is triggered once after the next change detection cycle that is triggered by the angular. And the next one is the after render. Anytime there is a change detection cycle this event will be triggered and run. This is a perfect place to update the DOM every time Angular detects a change. So you could use it to make additional writes or reads from the DOM based on the app update. So that is the main thing. That is, these are the two things. After next render will execute only once. After, ren after render will run after uh, whenever the subsequent changes will come. So here we are having this after render component, right? So let's go to the app.component.ts file and also the app.component.html file. So I will comment out these two things. Okay, so that we can have this only, uh, what is this one, after render, after render component, I am including this after render component. And here I will use this do app hyphen after hyphen render. Okay, so this is the component. Now app component.ts is there. Let's go to the uh, after render thing. So I want to explain you this after render also, right? After render component.ts file. Now here we need to learn about this one. So now I already told you, right? After render and after next render, these two are the functions which has a callback. So these are not the methods of a class. So that is also one thing which you need to understand. So this after render and after next render functions let you register a render callback to be invoked after Angular has finished your render all components on, is on the page into the DOM. So these functions are different from other lifecycle hooks described uh, as I described above. So rather than a class method, these are standalone functions that accepts a callback. The execution of this render callbacks is not tied to any specific component instance, but instead an application wide hook. So now we will try to learn about this one. So render callbacks do not run. So these two render callbacks do not run during server side rendering or during build time pre-rendering. So that is, these are the two things. So here I will try to do it. So constructor, okay. And here you'll be having a constructor. So I, I told you right after next render. So this is the thing and this one will accept a callback. And here we can write console.log after next render file. Okay, so this will not be called in the server side render only 
only in the browser side only it will be called so now if you try to refresh this page let's see why is this not finding after render is there after next render so it should be imported uh, from this angular core okay everything is working fine so let's try to stop this one and we will we'll run it again so now if you try to see here in our console let's go to the inspect element and i will try to show you see here this time after next render has been fired so this one will be fired only once now another callback hook which i want to explain is the after render okay after render and here you will be having console.log after render file okay now you will be able to see so this one will be fired after uh, uh, all the time okay now when this one will be exactly useful so after next render so this is the initial one right so let's go to the html uh, element and here i will write here uh, so here i will take this and view child and here i will take it as a view child at the rate view child okay and this one is leela and here also you will take it as a leela and here it is an element ref okay so that is the main thing now we got the element ref after next render so here what i want to do is uh, this dot leela dot native element dot um, style dot color is equal to red i have converted into a red color now automatically this one will be converted into red color that's not a problem what happened oh style spelling mistake so style okay so this one will be converted into a red color this is not a problem okay now in after render so whenever this is rendering so you want to get the uh, color of this one so okay fine you can get it not a problem console dot log um, this dot lila dot native element dot style dot color now this time what it will try to do it will give you the it will give you the red color right so this this one will give you a red color red color you will be able to see every time so you will be able to whenever this one is getting changed you will be able to get the red color so this is also whenever the not only this red color whenever the content is resizing or anything means so this one will be executed after render will be executed so resize options and all those things you can call it resize observe api if you want me means i will do that uh, scenario example also we'll do it so this is one phase so now i have explained you this one right so we in after render and after next render we also have another one that is nothing but a phases so you can optionally specify a phase this phase gives you a control over the sequencing of the dom operations for example let's say that here you are writing something to the dom so that means you are changing the color means you are writing something to the dom and here you are reading the dom so for example let's say that so here i want to read before the access means so here you can mention the phase so here you can write a phase in such a way that um, phase after render options so you will be having after render after render options i think that after after render phase after render phase dot early read so that means you are telling that before writing i want to read it so here you will be able to see that first time you are getting an empty color why because it doesn't have any color if you mention this one as style uh, color blue then first time you will get it as a blue so now you will be able to get it as a blue see the first time you got it as a blue why because this is this is executing before early read before writing now here if you want if you mention this one as a read then after writing is completed then only this read will be executed now here if you try to mention this one as a read also now here this is the right option right you can mention this one as a phase phase after render phase dot write so you can mention it as a write so that means all the write actions will be completed then only after that the read phase will be completed so like this you need to understand so for after render you can have it for after next render you can add it so anyways so i am trying to explain you the phases so you are having four phases totally you are having four phases so these are the phases which you can able to see write phase read phase and also early read i already told you right before the write execution the early read will be executed and we also have an another one that is nothing but mixed write read so that is a default one so this is a default phase used for any operations need to both 
read and write layout affecting properties avoid this phase if possible preferring the explicit write and read operations so you, you should uh, write if possible prefer the exclusive write and read so write operation i told you right use this phase to write layout affecting dom properties read uh, read layout means use this phase to read any layout affecting early read means so this one also we avoid this phase if possible so prefer using the read and write phases so this is an optional thing so which i am trying to tell you by default this one will be a mixed read write so that's it guys about this after render and after an extra render so you hope you understood about this concept so most importantly you need to understand that these two things will not be uh, fired in the server side rendering in the build time or the pre-rendering this will be fired only on the browser side only so this will be very useful for us when we are doing the server side rendering thing so hope you understood about this concept so what i will try, try to do is i will uh, create a new branch that is video hyphen 19 and here i will commit this code after render and after next render so i will commit this entire code so whoever may be having doubts or anything so if you want to refer this code means i'll be providing the github repository url in the description below so you can have a take a look at that one and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you